Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is remove trailing zeros from a string. So in this question, we're given a positive integer called nums as a string and we have to return an integer num without trailing zeros as a string. So this is the input string given to us and there are two trailing zeros. So we have to remove this and we have to return the new, new output as a string. So after you remove the two zeros in the end, we get 512301 as a string which is the expected output and in this case the input is 1 2 3 and there are no trailing zeros in the end so you return 1 2 3 as it is as the output now let's see how we can solve this question using this example one so here you can see the input is given to us as a string and we have to return a string also and our task is to remove any trailing zeros that is the zeros from the end here you can observe that the first part of the array wherever there are non-zero elements is the same in the output also as the input. So let's start our iteration from end to start. So we start from right to left. I will be pointing here. We have to check if that character is a zero. So until we reach a non-zero character from the end, we start, we move our eye pointer to the left. So we start from here. It is a zero. So we move pointer to the left. It is a zero again. So we move pointer to the left. Now I is pointing at a non-zero element. So we found our target index. So we found i. So i is equal to 5. So we find our target index. So we have to find the string which is having indices from 0 to i. So we extract that part of the string and return it as the output. So to extract that part of the string, I'm going to use the substring method on this input given to us. And the substring will start from 0 until i plus 1. So if you just place uh, 0 until i, you will miss this part of uh, string. So the i plus 1, so 0 until 5 plus 1 is 6, so substring of 0 until 6. So you get the substring from 0 until 6 and return it as the output. So this will be your output. Now let's implement the same steps in a Java program. So this is the input given to us. So let's take the same input as example 1 here. And I place the index i at the end of the input string. So i is pointing here. And using a for loop, we iterate from right to left so that we can find the first non-zero element. As soon as you find a non-zero element which is not equal to zero, I'm looking for a character which is not equal to zero. As soon as you find and you come out of the loop and return the substring from zero to i plus one. So here we start with i, i is pointing at zero. So it will skip the if statement and move i to the left. Now i is pointing here, it is again a zero. So it will skip the if statement and move to the left. Now here i is pointing to a non-zero character. So we break, so it will enter this and break from the loop and come out. Now i is pointing at, now i is equal to 5. So 5 plus 1. So you get the substring from 0 to 6. So 0 to 6 you get the substring and it will return this as the output which is the expected output here. So the time complexity of this approach is O of n where n is the length of the input string given to us and the space complexity is O of 1 because we are not using any extra space to solve this question. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.